So here now, I've heard some people mistaking this or mistake this for a worm. But this is not a worm. It is actually a Clubber's Thread Snake, Guyana Blind Snake, Wogler's Blind Snake, or Guyana Thread Snake, a picture tonella. And it is one of the smallest snakes you can bounce up in Trinidad. It can reach average size of around 10 inches, but it can get slightly bigger. It also hasn't been recognized in Tobago yet. The thread snake has a distinct black and white or sometimes grey striped body. The stripes will run from its head, go down to its tail. It also has a yellow spot on its head and the tip of its tail is also yellow. The yellow tip on its tail, if you look at it closely, kind of resembles a bee or a stinger, but not to worry. The point is not a stinger and this snake can't inflict pain whatsoever. But the point is used to defend itself, and here's how. If you look to hold this snake, the end of its tail, that point, will secrete a foul smell that is hard to get rid of, but it will keep on rubbing the tip of its tail on you until you let it go. I mean, their, their mouth is so small that they can't even bite. That's the only defense they have, that smell. The other thing they'll do, just like most snakes in Trinidad and Tobago, is try to run away. But the thread snake, this snake is one of my favorite species to have in the garden because they feed almost exclusively on termites. Yeah, they eat ants and other arthropod eggs, but termites make up the majority of their diet. Many times I've seen three, sometimes five of them inside a termite nest, gorging on the termites and the termite eggs. I've observed female thread snakes laying around two elongated eggs that was a bit larger than I expected. But there is not much study on this species of snake and more has to be done. So if you have any questions, put it down in the comment. And as you all know, I am the wildlife master. Like, share, comment and follow if you haven't already. And until next time, blessings and bless out.